Hey guys, it's Tanisha here. Um, I'm just doing like a little quick get ready with me. Excuse my face. Auntie just left town and she made a mess on my face. Plus I've been drinking a whole bunch of sodas. So um, just excuse all these pimples here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do like a simple makeup look. A couple people asked me to do like just a simple makeup look that I do every day. Not every day, but when I feel like doing putting on makeup. So I just decided to go ahead and do it. Um, but first, I just wanted to show you guys what I use to wash my face. So I usually use this Neutrogena oil-free acne wash. Um, works really good. But recently, my friend put me on to this Be Your Charcoal wash. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Like it has like this, I don't know. It just makes your face feel so clean. So I'm really starting to like that. And then after that, I'll go in with this medicated cream that my mom gave me. Um, it's called Tritinoid, mm, tri I don't know, but this is it. Um, and this has helped clear my skin up tremendously. Um, I used to suffer from really bad acne back in the day. And um, this has helped like keep it to a minimum, except for when I come with my period, of course, like everybody breaks out. So yeah, and then for the moisturizer, I use this L'Oreal Active Daily Moisturizer. And that's all that I use on my face. I wash my face twice a day, in the morning when I take a shower, and at night when I take a shower. And um, yeah, so, Let's go ahead and get into this makeup look. Um, like I said, it's gonna be real simple, beginner friendly, because honestly, I'm not big on eyeshadow. I'm not big on all of that stuff. So um, yeah, let's get into it, girl. All right, so first things first is prime time. So I just picked up this NYX Studio Perfect uh, Photo Loving Primer. This was about, I think, like $12. Um, I used to use this NYX Shine Killer, but I ran out. And so I bought this one to try. Um, it, it's pretty good. It does the job. Um, so I just put a little bit on my hands, like that much. And then I'll just put it on my face. My skin type, I'm really oily. Um, and so I like to buy things that kill the shine. I like matte products because I ain't trying to be oily, honey. So next is Fenty Beauty. Uh, I think this foundation is running at like 30, um, but it lasts a good, 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 good while. Um, this is like my second bottle. This is what I love to use. This is what I will probably always use um, because it leaves my face matte um throughout most of the day probably have to touch up just maybe like three times a day maybe but um it's amazing i love this so i just put it on the back of my hand that much may need a little bit more i don't know but um then i just dot it all over my face so I just kind of want to just talk to you guys just about life and my job. I am a new grad nurse, um, moving, moved from Florida to Houston. Um, I work on a med surge tele unit and we get about, I want to say the most five patients. Um, and the struggle has been real, not even gonna lie to you guys. The struggle has been really real. Like I've really been trying to just like focus on my job and just learn the in and outs because first of all, this is my first hospital job ever. So I don't know how the hospital works. I don't know how the hospital runs. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of like, you know, attendings and consults and all this other stuff. I wasn't aware of that. When I worked as a CNA, you know, in a nursing home we didn't have to deal with stuff like that so when i got you know when i got my job i was just like okay what is a consult who is the attending who am i calling 
and that's just basically like what I'm trying to like figure out like just the hospital itself is just like confusing because I've been used to working in a nursing home for so long but um I don't know like I like my job I like my job <sighs> don't get me wrong um I signed a two-year contract so I'm gonna try to finish out that contract it's gonna be I don't know the floor I work on is very difficult but I think that, you know, nursing in general is difficult. My floor, you will learn so much. I've seen chest tubes, I've seen NG tubes, peg tubes. Um, what else have I seen? Heparin dribs. I've seen patients with 17 wounds. I've seen patients with, you know, um, just all kinds of things. Like you learn so much on my floor. And that's what I really, really like about my floor is because it's never a day where you'll come in and be like, oh, I know what I'm doing. You're going to always learn something new. So I like that about my floor. But um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's just the hospital or what, but it's just tough. And, you know, I just want to give y'all the real because, you know, a lot of people, they make it seem like, oh, nursing is so easy. Nursing is so easy. No. This crap is hard and it's going to take effort to learn your job. Everybody says it takes like a good year for you to get comfortable. And I will say like I when I first went into work, like I would feel sick to my stomach. Like seriously, <laughs> I would feel so sick to my stomach. Um, just thinking about like, oh my God, like what if somebody dies or what's going to happen on this shift? Because you never know like what you're walking into. That's another one of the things like. You never know what you're going to run into, what's going to happen. Um, so you just always have to be prepared. And that just like scares the crap out of me to this day. Um, but I will say that I am more comfortable. If something were to go wrong, I'm more comfortable in knowing what I need to do than six months ago. You know what I'm saying? I've reached my six month mark. I've been a nurse on my own for six months. Um, but there are still things that, you know, I struggle with um, as far as like communicating, um, explaining things. Um, you know, if my patient has a question, I feel like I never know like an answer. I feel like I'm always just like, um, I don't know. Let me look it up. But I mean, it's better to look it up than to give out false information. That's how I look at it. If I don't know something, I'll look it up. If I see a, you know, drug that I don't, that's another important thing. You need to make sure that if you don't know something, look it up. Like I remember I had a patient come in with um, Addison's disease, newly diagnosed. And I forgot what Addison's disease was. I'm like, oh God, I know it has something to do with the adrenal glands, but God, what is it? So I had to look it up, you know what I mean? And just refresh my memory on how to care for patients with it, what to teach them. Um, and stuff like that so you learn so much you learn so much and at times it's overwhelming but it's just I don't know it's it's amazing um hold on y'all so I what I used for my highlighter was the LA Pro Concealer I'm in the color butter uh butter pecan pure beige hair store girl this is the wet and wild pressed powder in the color cocoa I've literally, I've had this for like three years and I'm just not hitting pan. So it's really good. Um, but yeah, and you know, I have such like a great team. Like whenever I need help, my coworkers are always there to help. Like if I have a question, they're always there to answer my questions. If I'm not sure about something, you know, they give me what they would do and I don't know, like it's just good to be around a great team. Like, even though my floor is really heavy, like I have like the support on the floor is just like crazy. So that's what I really, really love about my floor. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> MedStars Telly, basically we get patients that come in, um, 
GI bleeds, uh, pneumonia, sepsis, COPD exacerbation, CHF exacerbation, chest pain, literally everything we basically get. Uh, most of our patients are on telemetry, which means that um, we place pads on them just to monitor their rhythm, make sure everything happens, make sure they don't go on any wacky rhythms or anything like that. And if they do, we inform the doctor. Um, and we also um, get patients ready for surgery, get the paperwork ready, make them NPO, get the consent signed, stuff like that. Just monitoring patients. Um, that's basically what we do on my floor. Um, next is eyebrows. Hold on, guys. I gotta find my little spoolie. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically what we do on my floor. Um, but I want to say this to all the new grads. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to say when you do not know something. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Even if the person gets an attitude, still ask. It could be because you have somebody's life in your hands and you don't want to be making decisions because you think you know everything and then this person ends up dying or you know something serious happens with them so just make sure you always double check if you feel like you don't know something or if you need a second opinion ask you know what I mean so um yeah but yes y'all I am, I'm liking my job. I am liking it. Like I said, it is very kind of heavy. Typically though, like and on nights, we usually get like four to five patients. Like a few people will get five and a few people will get four. Unless it's a really good night and we have nine nurses, everybody gets four. But um, yeah, I mean, I love working nights. The only thing that I would say is that I've been like super tired a lot, like on my off days. If I get like six off days, I'll sleep for like the first night or whatever. And it's just like, uh, you just feel so groggy sometimes like after working night shift. But um, I definitely prefer that over days. Definitely, so yeah. But other than that, like, I feel like every new grad goes through this stage where they just like, oh my God, like, I don't know, but it gets better. It's gotten better. I'm feeling more comfortable. Of course, there are things that I don't know. There's things that I still haven't even done. I still haven't even put in the book together on a patient. You know what I mean? So it's just things like, you know, it'll take time. I haven't called a rapid on my patient. So, I mean, it's just things that, take time but uh but yeah so how is for my people who are in nursing school how is it going um are you struggling at all like if you have any questions or anything let me know i'll be so glad to help um but yes y'all also, like I said, well, I didn't say this, but it's December 26th and yesterday was Christmas and I was supposed to go home December 23rd, okay? I was supposed to go home, but I ended up going out that Saturday night and girl, the rest was history, okay? The rest was history, like seriously. I'm just like putting a little bit of color in there. This is Saddle from MAC. Saddle. Um, just a little bit because I don't want to be too bare. But this is all I do, honey. I'm not doing all that colorful stuff. That's just too much. It's too much. But yeah, I missed my flight because got a drink with my friends and my flight was at 1030 Sunday morning. Got in the house at like 4 a.m. Saturday morning, girl. 
I tried it. Um, so, uh, woke up at like 9.30. Like I said, my flight was supposed to be leaving at 10.30. So that was just dead. And then I tried to, um, you know, reschedule my flight. They didn't have any more flights for that day. The next flight they had was for December 25th. And then I was supposed to leave December 26th, which is today. I'm not gonna go home and stay for one day. So I was just like, you know what? It's just money lost. It is what it is. It's a lesson and I'm um, not gonna stress about it. So yeah. Did I put, I think, did I put powder on my eyes? Oh yeah, forgot to show y'all. Powder that I used, Lux Pro Powder from the hair store girl, $5.99. Um, this here is the MAC, what is this called? Oh, good God. Mineralized Skin Finish MAC. It, honestly, I'm gonna be real, this don't do nothing. I feel like uh, I just put it on just because, but you really don't need this because <laughs> it don't really do nothing. At least for me, it don't. Doesn't feel like it does rather. But, um, yeah. And for my lip, lip, Fenty Beauty. This was like $18, girl, when I say I about died. But it was so worth it. This is, uh, I don't know if y'all can see this, but mm, Fenty Glow, that's the name of it. $18 from Sephora, girl. And it's just so good. Love it. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with some lashes. Um, as y'all can see, my eyelashes hanging on by thread. I'm gonna try to give my lashes a break for a little bit. I've been having lashes for the past like three months, so I said, let me just let these fall off and give my eyes a break. And so that's what I'm doing. Do do do. Do, 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 do. This, I don't, I think this, I forget what this, I think it's Kiss. These are the flirty lashes. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on. So I learned this trick. I don't know if you guys watch uh, Tierra Walker. But I learned this trick, I think it was from her, to put on lashes. You get your little mirror like this, and then what you do is you kind of like put it underneath your face, and then you just sit the lash on top. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and get tacky. Y'all know the drill. Let And I'm gonna show y'all my outfit. It's really like plain. I'm just running errands, so. And I still haven't gone Christmas shopping. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all, please. Okay, so I'm putting this like this. I don't know if y'all can see. Okay, that's the first lash. <laughs> okay, let's get the second one together. The place, y'all. I apologize. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I got a new puppy. His name is Riley. He's a Maltese Poo, and now he's. I got him when he was eight weeks. He's gonna be ten weeks. Wait, what's today? Wednesday. He's ten weeks today. My little baby is ten weeks today. So he's growing so fast. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. I've been getting so nervous when the front part because I have black glue and so it's really easy to mess up. So I'm just like scared. I'm scared, y'all. Pure beginner beginner. Beginner beginner. Do not use black glue. I'm telling you because you'll mess up. So I suggest starting off with the regular white glue. This is Ardell. Just using regular white glue because I've been doing this kind of look ever since I was in high school and I still mess up. All right, so I just need to put some bottom lashes on. Right now I'm using the Colossal Volume Express. It has a little Cheeto on the top. Walgreens for the hair store. And then just put it on the bottom. And then sometimes I'll spray my face. If I can find it. So I'm going to spray it with the, this Mario Badescu. This was like $7 at, I think it was Nordstrom. Mm. Okay. All right, I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I got this foundation on here. All right, let's take this shower cap off. So I washed my hair last night. So it's Gonna look a little fresh. Today. Now I'm ready to start my errands. Start my errands. Start my errands. <laughs> All right. Let us enjoy the afternoon. So I was gonna show you guys my puppy. Let me show you. He's sleeping right now. Hi, boo boo. He's like, no. Okay. You want mommy to leave you alone? He's not feeling it right now. He's sweepy. So that's my little baby. But um, let me put some of my shoes on and put him up and I'll come back. Okay? I just have on these stretchy bell-bottom pants this pink hoodie and my cute 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 um what you call these things vapor maxes oh they're so cute i love them so much and i got them for a discount military discount um Let's go ahead and put my boo-boo up. He's going to be so sad. I hate locking him up in a cage, guys. I really, really hate it. 
but I mean, I gotta go out and run my errands, so it'll be okay for a couple hours.